Explosions! What are you eating? Pizza and wings. Damn it, send me some. Mm -mm. No. I had chicken tacos yesterday. What do you mean, no? <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking some Zaya and some Coke Zero. Zaya is what? Isn't that, that sugar free stuff? It's a uh, rum. Oh. It's a rum, Mario. So I hope. Uh, you guys enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you guys check the description below. We got products from Buzz TV. And we a also VPN. got a, and a VPN. Um, yeah. So check it out. We get you guys hooked up as much as possible. Okay. So I wanted to do this. Um <laughs> so the title of this was we started it earlier, but I know you had a skedaddle. Um, yeah. but the title of this is actually it's time to call out the BS. Or it's time to call the BS out. Whatever sounds better. Let the drama begin. Um, I wanted to do a... Your your eyes are just like... Why why you look so Chinese? Oh, hustle. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I wanted to do something a little bit uh, different. And... I wanted to... A, a, a couple things. A couple things. Um, so first... I wanted to say big shout out to Superdell. He did a video where he was calling certain content creators out saying thank you for this and thank you for that. And um, I, I I actually had an idea. I wrote that down actually for one of the things for our New Year's. Um, he just posted. He did it before we did it. So um, I wanted to do something where we kind of think back about maybe some of the people that we watched that got us here. Maybe some of the people that we're currently watching. And maybe some people that we probably would recommend others to maybe follow. Um, I know there's a lot of content creators that you follow that are outside of streaming, um, outside of crypto, yeah. outside of maybe gaming. Um, maybe outside of podcasting um you know there's everybody has like their own likes and shares so before we really dive into this everybody out there that's listening everybody out there that's watching the video on youtube or where whatever platform you're on leave us a comment leave us a review let us know um maybe list even if you don't have five people list five people that you're just like hey these are the guys that I like to watch. Um, it would be interesting to see who you guys follow and listen to and, you know, just to, just to get some diversity. Um, and you guys could enjoy some of the stuff that, that we got. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's, oh. it's crazy because YouTube is always so much bigger than any one person can comprehend. The amount of videos and content creators that's on here is absolutely insane. And a lot of times we stick in our own niches and we stick to usually like three or four channels that the I would think the average person just binge watches on a daily basis, right? Yeah. There's so much more out there. So I don't have anything written down. I know Superdoe had like a list and he was yeah. just going off, but we like to just wing shit because we're just... I don't know. We're all over the place. <laughs> um, so th th this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to have a couple categories that I'm just, I'm just going to, I'm literally pulling out of my ass and um, you give me some that you like and, or some that you follow or listen to, and I'll do the same, you know? Okay. Um, so the first YouTubers, and I'm not talking about one. It, it could be as many as you want to name. Um, and if you want to get in detail, that's cool too. But the first YouTubers 
that you watched not to get onto the platform, but you just you're just like, oh man, I used to watch this guy way back when. And it had nothing to do on me getting on YouTube. Man, that's a hard question. Like to mm. think back, what were some of the very first YouTubers that I watched? Because <clears throat> I would like to think I was on this platform relatively early. Um, even if you go to <clears throat> my YouTube channel and you go to uh, the about section, it says that I joined November 16th, 2009. <laughs> like that's a long time ago. <laughs> but you know, you were watching YouTube probably before that. Right. That That's just when I created this account. Right. 2009, I think, when did YouTube first start? That's a good question. When? The thing is 2002. No, man, I don't think it's that old. I think. Newer? All right. So it says here on Wikipedia that it was launched February 14th, 2005. I was close. That's when it launched, though. It wouldn't have had any creators then. Or did they? I know oh, it here, was. Here, here, here. Hold on, hold on. October 2006, YouTube was bought by Google. <clears throat> so YouTube wasn't YouTube until after 2006. Yeah. So, yeah, relatively early. Um I think I think I got on there starting to watch the only channels that I can really recommend from way back when was stuff like Unbox Therapy. Um I think I started watching him first. And then I moved on to some of the other like channels like HD. Um, Linus had a bunch of videos back then, but he was actually working for another company. Uh, and NZX, no, N. Oh man, I don't remember the name, but he was putting out a lot of content under a different brand because he actually worked for them. So those are the three that I remember that I would first start. But back then it was like if you wanted to find something, then you would just search it. You didn't really, I didn't really know creators as creators back then. I would say, oh, I'm not going to, I'm not, you know what? Unbox therapy. Nope. I didn't, I didn't know anything about that guy until you told me that until, until <laughs> you're like, Hey, have you seen this guy? I'm like, Nope. I'm going to go old. Uh, so PewDiePie. PewDiePie? I never watched PewDiePie. PewDiePie. Like still up into this. Oh, wait. Now I'm thinking of, there was another guy too. Um, I used to watch Ray William, well, Ray William Johnson. No, nope, not me. You don't know him? Mm -mm. What was the other guy's name? Oh, now you're killing me here. Oh, so I did PewDiePie. Um, one of my friends that I used to know way back when, we used to talk like very like passing um and she actually blew the hell up on youtube big time i think she's at like 30 million subscribers right now which is sniper wolf sss -S -S, it's three s's sniper wolf um leah she started as a cosplayer mm -hmm. and I like every year we'd meet up at like uh San Diego Comic Con and just hang out. Just hey, let's get some food, just chill. Um and she was like very big into gaming. Like she it, she, and she was like like legit. This was when like and it's 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 sad to sound like this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Like I would say she was one of the very first girls on the gaming platform. And especially back then, people were just like, there's no way that you're a girl and you're this good. But I would say, and I would even stretch this as far as saying she was probably one of the first, if not the first, to get onto gaming on YouTube and destroy everybody and be recording it at the same time, you know? Mm -hmm. I want to say she paved that way for women um, to do that and then opened up the doors for a lot of people. Um, but 
yeah, she she and I think now what she does is she reacts to videos. She she does a lot of reactions to stuff, just the stupid stuff that's online. Um, but Sniper Wolf, um, I know she was one, an early one. PewDiePie was an early one, and I used you know what I used to watch a lot of um, back then drum core stuff. I know I used to be in mm -hmm. like Drumline, mm -hmm. so like just drum core stuff, or even or you know what music videos. I used to watch a lot of different music videos too. I hate it going time. on. Huh? What about Epic Meal Time? Epic Meal Time? Yeah, you've never seen Epic Meal Time? Mm -mm. Jeez. Never. So okay. Here, okay. So everybody out there that's listening, who are the very? And I know, I know this is a really hard question, but who are the very first people that you watched? Leave us a comment below. Let us know. Who are the very first people that you jumped on YouTube and watched? Some people, and you know what? If it's that your kid grabbed your phone and started searching, I don't know, unwrapping toys or eggs or whatever, post that. <laughs> you know? Okay. Here's another one. Here's another one. You ready for this one? Mm -hmm. Who were the first? set remember I, every time i see the, I, every time i say the first it doesn't have to mean one it can mean 10 it can mean infinity but who is the first set of people that inspired you to get onto youtube oh you see that <laughs> if anybody out there is 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 watching the video <laughs> I think I just saw some veins popping out of Next Level's head right now. Because <laughs> well, I was going through like situations in my head. Because, yeah, you watch YouTube videos and you'd like to think to yourself, I could do this. But for me, it, was, it wasn't until the community itself started watching my videos and commenting that I was like, I guess I can do this. Because I didn't post my first videos to say I was a YouTuber, but my videos started getting views. And that's really what inspired me was the amount of traction and the amount of support that I got from the community. Because you don't, I, I think a lot of, a lot of us, well, maybe there is a certain percentage that says, I'm going to start a YouTube channel and I'm going to be famous. But I don't think it's as big as we just came onto this platform and we we just put ourselves out there and it's the community that really lifts us up. Mm -hmm. Right. But you've had to watch somebody that you're just like, I can do that. Or I have knowledge on this too. Cause mm. that's ultimately, that's what inspires us to get onto YouTube. Right. You right. know, how many people have we had that joined YouTube that said, dude, because of you two, I'm on YouTube. You know, you guys inspired me because I see how you guys do it and I can do it too. Right. I have some knowledge too. So who who was that person or persons that you were just like, I'm interested in this topic. I, I, I like this stuff. Right. This is well, interesting. You that's going to be streaming related for me because I mean, all right. of my videos that I posted have really been streaming related. That's how and we started when I was troubleshooting streaming issues, um, the first couple channels that came up that I was looking at that, that I looked at was like new tech evolution. Um, there was, Oh man, there was one or two others. I can't remember who they were. It might've been TD UK or doc squiffy or something like that. And I watched their videos and I was like, I can do this, but I can also put my own perspective on it. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, and I found like, I, I've talked about this before, but one of the reasons why I started dropping videos was because the ISP block that was happening wasn't happening in the States or the UK. It was happening everywhere outside of that. And mm -hmm. I couldn't find a creator that was not in the States or the UK. So I was like, I, I guess, 
I'll just put it out there and see if I can help somebody. And that's what really got me going because the answers I was looking for wasn't readily available. And it, it, to me, it was like, that's somewhere where I can help. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before I answer, I got one more question for you. Oh, no. I got one more question for you. Um, when you were doing, I don't want to say research, but when you're watching these videos and you're just like, I got my own spin on things or my own idea on things. Right. Was there anybody along the way before you posted your very first video that you're that somebody, I don't know if I want to call them a mentor or right. if I want to call them the person that kicked you on the butt to actually do it whatever you want to call that person. But was there anybody, somebody along the way that you talked to that said, just do it? No. Uh, I know that sounds weird to me, but before the first video, no, there wasn't. Because my first videos, I didn't, I wasn't really focused on stuff like quality or anything like that. My very first video was a screen recording on my cell phone. And I literally just did the screen recording on my cell phone. I edited it on my cell phone and I was like, I'm just going to put it up. And I, I dropped that. And then that video eventually hit over 300,000 views. And I didn't know what I was doing at the time. I just knew I had to do more of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yep. And I, I, really enjoyed troubleshooting the different apps on my cell phone. So I just kept doing screen recordings and I just kept throwing it up. And, you know, you kind of just look at the questions that you get in the comments to kind of guide you. It wasn't until I really got into like the groups on Facebook that I started to communicate with other people. And the very first YouTuber that I was communicating with was new tech. And new tech was like always too busy to be around. So he just started putting me as like the admin and the moderator and all the social media groups. So I would end up like going around and I just happened to become the admin and like the, the fallen group. I, and then I like all of his social media groups, I ended up becoming like the person running the show and then building the teams. Mm hmm. And then you're dealing with these questions on a daily basis from all different angles, from thousands of people every day. So you learn really quickly about different situations. <laughs> yeah. So uh, my next question goes out to all of our listeners, everybody out there that's listening or watching the video, leave us a comment. If you created a YouTube channel, who were your, who would who your, who inspired you, you who, know? Yeah. Yeah. Who inspired you to get on here or, or who did you talk to that kicked your butt to do it? And if you don't have a YouTube channel, if you're just like, well, I'm not really, um, I, you know, I, I just watch the videos who inspired you to get into your, whatever niche you're in. If it's streaming, if it's gaming, if it's whatever, who inspired you to really be like, hey, you know what? That's cool. I, I want to do that. You know, leave us a comment below. So for me, when I started, um, I know many of you guys already know, I had a friend that sold me a, a <laughs> $10,000 fire stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much. <laughs> um, and I just started to do my research. Watch someone's going to be like, somebody sold you a $10,000 fire stick. <laughs> you got to go back and watch the video. You got to go back and watch the video. Um, so I started to do some research. And some of the first people that I started to watch that got me into streaming. Joe Nobody. Big shout out, Joe Nobody, if you're out there. Um, oh, my gosh. Husham. Mm -hmm. um dimmy mm -hmm. i always saw husham and dimmy as like the dynamic duo <laughs> like like i'm like these two are like badass you know um big shout out to both of them um target target in 1080p also known as omi and a hellcat yeah uh touchstone um 
Tick Timaru. I don't know if you mm. remember Tick Timaru. Yeah, I've heard the name. Um, Solo Man. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Let's be real, though. Everyone who watched Solo Man's video was like, I could do better than this. <laughs> right? So is that not an inspiration then? It, but you know what? He did it. Did you say that unique... Solo Man inspired you to do better? He said he's he did things in such a unique way. Like he would be laying in his bed and then he'll roll over like, hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you're having a great day. Today, I'm going to show you blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, I don't know if I want to roll out of my bed. I'm like, that looked like bunk beds. Is that one of your kids' beds? <laughs> I'm like, I'll just stand in front. You know what? I won't even show my face. (laughs) I'm not even going to. Let me just. Today, I'm going to show you guys. (laughs) You know, I'm like, let me just show you guys the basics. And for me, the people that actually kicked my butt. um, And I'm going to call them out. Sorry. Touchstone. And Target in 1080p or owe me a Hellcat. Both of those guys kicked my butt to actually just do it. Um, when I was doing my research, I was doing, I was sending, I was texting people or emailing people like all the directions. And then I started doing screenshots and then I started doing recordings and I'm just like, dude, there's gotta be an easier way. And I'm, so I'm watching all these videos. I'm like, I don't want to get on YouTube to do it. I'm like, it's kind of dumb, you know? And I remember I, I bought a device and I was talking to Touchstone about it and he was just like, why don't you just do it? He's like, you know what? There's not, there's not one way of doing this stuff, right? There's never a, a there's never a correct way of doing it. You just got to do it. And everybody has their own personality, their own style. Just do it. And you know what he did? I'll say this. Touchstone was the first person who gave me my first thumbs down. <laughs> and he told and he told me he did it too. Yeah. He's just like like I posted my first video and I was sending it out in and stuff. Um, you know, to my family and and everyone's like, "Oh, cool." And I started I I grew my whole base just on family and friends, literally, you know. And Touchstone thumbs down my first video and he said, "Get used to it." Because this will not be the last time you see a thumbs down. Right. I'm like, yeah, but it hurts, dude. I'm like, oh. I'm like, I'm trying to help people. And it's it's pretty much like throwing a middle finger. It's like, it's like, here, here's like 10 bucks. And somebody's saying, well, yeah, well, F you then, <laughs> you know? You, know <laughs> you always have a sad awakening every time that you put so much time and effort into a video or a tutorial or whatever, and you get it up there. And then you always have people that are salty because I guess not every situation can be solved by the same solution. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. But, it, but <laughs> there's a couple of things that you learn very quickly as a YouTuber and maybe not as a viewer that one videos are shot in the past. They're not in the present. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that's a hard one to kind of realize, I think as a viewer, right. I've been kind of part of creating videos for so long that it, it's, it's easy as a content creator when you get one of those comments and they're like, oh, this doesn't work. And then you're like, well, this video is from two years ago. Of course it doesn't work, right? But right. As, a, as a viewer, like not being in the shoes of a content creator, it's easy to fall down that path. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. It, it, yeah, I've gotten some very interesting comments. I've gotten some very interesting comments. I'm going to go with hate mail. Let's go with hate mail. I've had someone tell me to try walking on water before. <laughs> <laughs> I've had some hate mail too before. Yeah. Um, so, okay. Here, 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 Here's the next one. Cause I, cause we're kind of slowly going there already. Mm-hmm. Um, once you got in to YouTube, Mm-hmm. Who are the content creators that you are following? And I wouldn't say not competing, but, you know, you watch people to learn and you probably test theories to see if that works better than how you might do certain things. And sometimes because we're in the same 
niche were kind of like, oh, cool. Like this person's doing the same thing as me. Let me check them out also to see what they got. See if it's something different, something new. So who are the people that you were watching when you started to really like when you're when you're when you're in you're 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 no longer your feet are no longer wet you're already in you're already building your subscribers you're, you're the truck is rolling i'll if you want i'll go first on this one while you're thinking yeah sure okay so um for me i saw that whole transition between target and tnp going to omi mm -hmm. and um with him, he, he was one that kept telling me like, oh, oh, you got a new microphone. Oh, Mr. Professional. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, your camera's a little bit better now. Oh, check you out. Like, he would, he would like hype me up a little bit. And I'm just like, oh, God, dude, leave me alone. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, as I was, I guess, growing up in this, in this era, um, I, I was watching uh, Free Tech. Um free tech back in the day i was watching machanga machanga came out of nowhere um super dell i didn't you know what i didn't even know super dell existed until uh one of my buddies was like dude like you should watch you should check out super dell like he's got some interesting stuff i'm like who's that and he's just like dude check it out so i was you know i started watching super dell and actually shout out to super dell again because his live show, one of the live shows, was when I actually turned off my camera. And, um, or not turned off, turned on my camera. Right, right, right. Um, so I actually showed my face, because before then, I wasn't showing my face at all. I, I did it on, on his channel, and people were like, show your face, show your face. And I did. Um, and I had, I had a lot of people tell me, like, dude, Dimmy. Demi was one of them that was just like, I'm glad you did because it actually shows who the face is behind the voice and it gives you more of a personality. Well, the community was kind of split into two and it wasn't an even divide. There was those that created content that wanted a very strong sense of, uh, uh, why am I struggling with this word? Uh, a, a non, a non, a, an anonymity oh my god <laughs> nft <laughs> right like they they wanted to be anonymous they wanted to remain re oh my god i can't <laughs> hip-hop anonymous <laughs> right they wanted to remain anonymous and then there was right around because i think you and i actually started showing our face around the same time and right around that time there was more and more creators that started showing their face um you know top tutorials i don't know if you remember him yeah 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 he didn't show his face either. Right. He actually, I would say he was, he was the first person that inspired me to say, screw it. He did a video and said, as soon as I get to a hundred thousand subscribers, I'm going to show my face. And I was like, and then he got to a hundred thousand subscribers and it was like the funniest. It was almost like a TikTok, dude. Like, you know how the, the camera just pans up from your feet up to your face, you know? Yeah. It was something like that where it's starting to pan from his shirt up. Mm -hmm. And then as it got up, it was the funniest thing. I thought I started to buffer. I thought my YouTube froze for a second. And it made like a weird sound like, and then the videos and the video continued. And then it said, thank you everybody for the hundred subs. And I'm just like, I'm like, what happened? So then I rewinded it to see like, like, mm -hmm. like, dude, like my YouTube screwed up. No, that's actually how he made the video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but, and then late, not shortly after that, he did show his face. Um, but he was the one that inspired me to be like, you know what? Just F it. Screw it. But top tutorials. That, that's, that's another one, man. Dang. Um, shoot. I know, uh, oh, let me see, uh, Fire TV Sticks, she came out later on. I started watching her a lot. Um, I started watching you a lot because I never, as you know, liked File Linked. Right, yeah. And as things were evolving, I'm just like, oh, man, damn it. Why do I got to jump on this crap? <laughs> you know? Um, I trust, same. Yeah, I trust as well, right? Because um, I trust originally was making just general app 
videos, right? Mm-hmm. So I trust was one of the, and and you know what I think I trust and I started around the same time as well. Mm-hmm. He might have started maybe a little bit before me. What about Lee TV? Was he I didn't the same? really know much about Lee TV. I didn't know much about him until later on. It was mm-hmm. like like Lee TV, um, Tech Doctor UK. Mm-hmm. There were several dudes. It, it was like 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 several of you guys. Um, I, I Doc Squiffy was way earlier. He was like around the same time that I was in. Um, but there was like a group of you guys that I I was just starting to watch a lot, and I'm just like. Cool. And I loved everybody's style. It was just so, so different. And different. Yeah. That was the cool thing about it. We all had a different thing to bring to the table. Um, one of the first, I guess, YouTubers to find well, this is a good question, actually. What was one of the first YouTubers to find you? Ooh. Oh, I know. I got one. All right, go. I got one. So the first YouTuber that actually contacted me first not me to them Mm -hmm. uh free tech really free tech he messaged me when i was like a little baby (laughs) um we were both little babies and um he wanted to do a collab and i was really really small um and I remember we had this conversation like not that long ago, a few months ago, we talked about this too. He said that he's like, you know what, Rojas? He's like, I sent you an email a long time ago and about collabing, but we never did <laughs> until the podcast happened. Right, right. Um, I, I went, I went and started digging into my emails and I finally, dude, it took me a long time to find this damn email. But I found the email that he was just like, hey, Rojas, this is free tech, blah, blah, blah. You know, here, uh, like, here's my YouTube channel. I see that you and me are doing the same stuff. We should do a collab one of these days. Mm-hmm. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> um, and my response was, um, hey, thanks. Yeah, maybe maybe down the road we can. Um, you know, let's keep in touch and, 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 and see where this goes. And I, I think that was it. After that, there was... There, I think, I think what happened was I started to steamroll, and I started to get extremely busy with that I was doing because I, I, I like, right. It was like Bitcoin overnight, like it just boomed out of nowhere. I'm just like, holy crap, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And Free Tech, I, I remember he was telling me this. He was just like, yeah, he's like, you passed me and kept going, and you're yeah. like, crap, dude. Um, and but Free Tech would be the one who messaged me and yeah it took us a long time to finally do the collab so i'm glad we did for real what about you so for my side i had somewhere between 500 to 900 subscribers and bo knows found my video bo knows right Mm -hmm. so bo knows found my video liked it so much that he redid it and he gave me a shout out Mm -hmm. so when i first got started I don't know if everyone does this, but I would do it every once in a while. I would search myself on YouTube. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I wanted to see what would come up. So I would search my name and I would search like my channel name. And by doing that, I saw Bo's video. And I was like, whoa, somebody's remaking a video that I made. This is kind of cool. So then I started going down the rabbit hole of like, who is this guy? What kind of videos does he make? And then he would always uh, shout out, you know, the rest of his team, DST over there. So I started following DST and check out their videos. And that's, you know, with DST, like Super Dell and Bo Knows, um, uh, Dereal. I think- Check in the bathroom. (laughs) Well, hold on. In in, in the beginning, it was really just Super Dell and Bo Knows because- Yeah, I don't think Tech in the Bathroom was in there till later. No, he came later. But the thing is, I'm like- those were the people that were consistently putting out videos back then, mm-hmm. right? Uh, everyone else, they were kind of jumping on live streams and whatever. But if you were to binge their content, it was really Bonos and Superdell that you were watching the content from. So and Dereal. Uh, 
I don't know. I don't think I ever really watched the reels videos back then. I don't know if she, she was posting. Any. She was. She used to post a lot, but she was posting in the beginning. Right. So I didn't. I didn't catch her videos. Mostly just her live streams when she was on the live stream. Mm -hmm. But it was. I, I watched a lot of uh, Bo Nose and Super Dell in the beginning, and then they started inviting us on the shows, which was super cool. So, um, yeah. So you know they. Uh, they had a good platform. They have a good platform to really, you know, invite people on. Um, back in the day, everybody used to come on that stuff. We used to, I think everybody was like jumping on everybody's channel. Like, yeah, ping, 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 like all over the place. But yeah, big shout out to, to, to uh, DST. Mo, DST, all those guys over there. Um, I would say Bo, Bo was one of the guys way back when. Um, where he was actually seeking for help on a build, mm -hmm. and he was asking me like, "Hey, how much do you charge?" I'm like, "Dude, I'm like, I'm I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let me show you how to do it. Mm -hmm. I have had plenty of videos of how to do builds, and when people throw different skins on, sometimes it's like difficult to really like figure out all the different nuances." And that's what my channel was about. I'm like, let me just sit down and, and show you how to do it, you know? Um, and I really only liked one skin back in the day, uh, Exonfluence. That was one of my favorite skins. Yeah, that was one of the more popular ones. Yeah, and it's still my favorite. It That one is just, I think, the best. And if you know how to really tweak some of those settings, you can do so much with it. So he had a build that would that use a different skin, Exury or Exuria or I forget what it was called. Um, but it, it took some digging. I'm just like, let me just, you know what? I'm going to show you how to do this. So that way you can do it. You know, I'm like, for me, it was like, cool. Like, Hey, you know, like I, I wasn't charging him or nothing. Um, I think he sent me like 20 bucks just to say, thank you. Um, but I never, I never said, yeah, it's going to cost you this much money. Um, but I said, look, I'll show you how to do it. So that way you can do it. That way you don't have to pay anybody to do it. Like this is simple stuff, man. And, and, but yeah, he was one of the dudes that reached out. <laughs> Hold on. You know, what's funny. Mm -hmm. Cause this checks me once in a while, right? Like we communicate, we hang around, uh, generally a lot of the people that have similar knowledge that we do. Right. But when we say things are simple, it's simple to us because we've been in it for so long. It was like the other day, um, one of the kids came by and I was talking just like a regular conversation. And I was like, oh, I upgraded the RAM in my laptop. And they're like, what's RAM? And I laughed and I was like, wait, is that sarcastic? Are you really asking me what RAM is? And like, generally they were asking me and I was like, oh, okay. Because like, for us, that's a simple thing, right? Mm -hmm. But not everybody comes from the same backgrounds or the same knowledge or or whatever it may be. So it's it's kind of good to, like, I remember when I would always finish my videos back a few years ago, I'd always say, you know, stay humble and be patient because not everyone has the same experiences that we do. And we kind of have to take a step back to really, to really see what's going on around us, right? Mm -hmm. So... What about you though? Who were the people that you were following once you got in and you were, you know, following them, checking them out, see what they do, jumped on people's shows? Yeah, it was the same thing. Uh, I jumped on a lot of DST shows because they had live streams all the time. And then in the beginning, it was always like, well, I don't want to do a video or do a live stream when someone else is going live. So in the beginning, I think I kind of fell. A victim of just watching content instead of doing a lot of content and then i would get into my own little like spells of i'm just gonna start dropping content or doing live streams and like we did a, a podcast <laughs> with uh ken from uh ms7 and one of the live streams that i guess is kind of iconic for him was when i did like a six hour live stream. I was going all night. I'm just sitting there with devices and going through devices. And he's like, it was amazing. You, you had to, you had to program them. You just did it as a live stream and you did like four or five devices 
all in one shot. And I was like, you like that? I was just bored. <laughs> 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 but you never know what people are going to like, right? You just kind of got to put yourself out there and see where, where it goes. Yeah. Okay. So here's another one. So we both have changed our channels. Um, we both have been adapting. We both have had to adapt, maybe by force. Um, <laughs> and I'm not saying what's inspiring you to do whatever you're doing, but who do you watch now after all the madness, all the craziness? I know doing the podcast, we've been able, and I'm not, I'm not even going to mention like big name companies outside of YouTube. You know, last year after TechFluence, we've talked to a lot of people yeah. and we were able to interview a lot of like CEOs and presidents and owners and whatever. So outside of that, which content creators um, have you watched? Which content creators maybe not inspired you to do something, but maybe inspired you to be like, Ooh, I want to buy one of those. Like example, El Jefe and digital slang. Mm. They mm. both do audio stuff. So it's kind of like, Ooh, like I want to check those, those headphones out or those earbuds or, you know, or, or it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be like in the audio industry. It could be anybody who have you run along the way, maybe recently or people that you constantly watch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That you're like, cool. This is this is part of my daily my daily. So I started watching uh, a while ago a creator by the name of Andre Jick, and he does stocks and crypto. But I was watching him way before he blew up. He's almost at two million subscribers now, and he had a very good way of presenting information in a basic way and entertaining about stocks and crypto. It was super entertaining because he's also, he's a carny kid. His parents uh, work in the carnivals and he wow. used to travel around and he's learned uh, some magic tricks along the way. So he starts his videos, every single video with a magic trick. Hmm. And his editing is almost like a magic trick too, because his, his editing skills are really good and he'll do card tricks and disappearing things and all kinds of stuff, but he'll make it related to money or crypto so he'll make money disappear make money reappear and like all kinds of cool stuff and he makes you know i've learned a lot from his channel and then from there i i started watching a lot of um graham stefan uh, who has i think five or six channels now he also has a podcast too um and more recently i actually just recently stopped watching as much of this guy's channel but his name is crypto capital venture and he's solely about cardano and all he does every time he goes on is he charts it mm -hmm. and he charts where it's going he charts where it came from and how it's moving and kind of the support levels and resistance and stuff and i would just sit there and i would watch him chart and i'm like this is kind of cool I, I would like to kind of do this one day like charting something stocks crypto and that really intrigued me. I'm like, these people who chart kind of make it look easy. They just draw lines. They find a pattern. And there's obviously different patterns that mean different things. And recently, I've been spending a lot of time trying to do my own charts. And I'm like, I'd like to do this as part of my channel one day, where I can just start a video where I'm charting and just go through it. Now, I'm not knowledgeable enough right now with showing start to finish a chart, but I think that's somewhere I'd like to go. I've uh, I've been asked before when I was doing a, a live stream on Digital Slang's channel, and he's like, well, stocks got you interested in crypto, right? And I said, no. Um, crypto got me interested in stocks because you kind of find you have to be passionate about what you're investing in. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, I, I would, I, I started buying stocks before I started buying crypto, but I wasn't really passionate about it. I didn't really understand it. And then once I started to get 
passionate about crypto, I started looking into companies that are related to crypto. And then that's where the real passion came in. That's when I started getting excited about companies that are building a future in crypto. And then it was kind of a full circle event at that point. But um, there are a bunch of other channels. There's uh, one that I watch uh, a couple of times a week called Crypto's, Crypto R Us. And he talks about a couple different coins, usually starts off with Bitcoin. Um, man, there's so many other channels uh, that I watch as well in, rela in relation to crypto. But I'd be here all day talking about each one of them because every single one is different. Mm -hmm. It's so different how they present themselves, which ones they focus on. And, and yeah, it, it, it's kind of like if you want to learn about a specific coin, you're going to find a content creator that specializes in that coin. <laughs> That's true. Um, oh, man, I'm trying to think. I forgot to shout out Fire TV Sticks, Tanya, earlier. She was another one that I was watching. Um, for me, on my on what I watch now, I like to watch. Um, so I know Epic Rap Battles in history has been around yeah. for a while. Yeah, I've been watching yeah. them for a while, while, and they're finally coming back with new episodes. So I'm watching them. Um, hot one, hot hot ones. The yeah, hot I watched ones. a little bit more of them recently. Yeah, they're they're pretty good episodes. I like watching those. It's just it's just chicken wings and conversations. Just conversations, which is yeah. genius. It's awesome. Um oh, I wait, haven't I watch a lot of Rhett and Link. Do you watch Rhett and Link too or no? I used to. I stopped watching them. Yeah. Um they're kind of my white noise though. Like I'll just throw them on and then have them on while I do stuff. Yeah. Um emergency awesome he does uh a lot of like so as you know i don't like to watch anything marvel related unless i've already watched the movie then i'll watch like what people talk about right 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 so he does a lot of that stuff he dives yeah. into like all the little stuff in there and i'm just like ooh, this is cool i've watched some of his stuff too yeah yeah uh rock star rock stars new age rock stars i forget what they're called but they do the same thing too one. There's, um, uh, there's a guy by the name of Pagey that I used to watch, and he does he focuses on Flash and DC. Mm. Um, with crypto, I haven't really found anybody yet. Um, there's a lot of people that do crypto out there, but nobody that I've gotten attached to yet. Mm. You know, um, there's a couple for me still. Yeah, I I do listen to Zach Talks Tech. Um, ever since we started doing the podcast, Zach Talks Tech, Digital Slang, El Jefe, I'll watch their shows, I'll watch their reviews. Um, always interested to see what, what they have. Um, trying to think who else. I, like, I have a I have a lineup of people. Oh, back in the day, ASBYT used to do the K-App. Actually, yeah, I used to watch him too. Yeah, I, I I was watching him way back when, and then he got into phones, and then I stopped watching him. And now I'm finding myself watching some of his stuff again, like every now and then. Um, oh, I lost him. I haven't watched him in a long time. Yeah, I, every now and then I'll, I'll be like, oh, hey, hey I, I remember that guy. Um, oh, uh, Son of a Tech. It, he does a lot of crypto mine videos. Mm -hmm. I watch him, and he does a morning show, crypto mining morning show. I don't catch him as much anymore, but... A lot of his stuff that he he was the first person I watched how to mine crypto was son of a mm. tech. Um, because of you, Linus Tech Tips, mm -hmm. Unbox Therapy. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, what are the two numb nuts? Fresh and fit. And you can't blame me for fresh and fit. I watch Abba and preach. I watch Abba and preach too, but I didn't. But, but that's because of you too. <laughs> i'm i'm quoting what digital slang says this is your fault this is your fault it's funny though that's some funny stuff i'm like oh my god like, there's know. been a whole community that has spun off because of fresh and fit and Abba and preach yeah. they create content just because of the beef that they've had it yeah <laughs> so every now and then i'll watch their stuff what about freaking reviews you ever watch his videos freaking reviews yeah uh-uh i watch his stuff too he's got some good stuff 
Re- I who's reviews.org. I've watched them. Um the deal guy. There's this guy called the deal guy. He does a lot of Amazon deals oh, I've that you see. I see um, him, yeah. It's kind of like a like a used car salesman all grimy and stuff, you know? <laughs> yeah, it kind of feels like that a little bit. Yeah. So hold on. Who's your favorite podcast channels on YouTube then? Oh, Brogan is one of them. Mm-hmm. Well, he's not on. Well, he's a little bit on YouTube, but he's a little bit. I still watch his old stuff. Um, Howard Stern. I still watch his old stuff. Um, when there's no drama, Fresh and Fit has some interesting <laughs> conversations. And I know, I, I know, I'm gonna get in trouble for it. Whatever, I can listen to whatever the hell I want. <laughs> yeah, but, you can't get in trouble for Fresh and like whatever, watch whatever you want. Fresh, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's entertainment, right? It's entertainment, and it's pretty insane on what they say <laughs> to people in their face. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's pretty. It's pretty entertaining on how they do it. It's just like whoa. Um. Other than that, other than that, yeah, nobody else. I, I've caught myself watching our stuff. Like I'll be yeah. working out, and I'll be, and I'll throw us up there, and I'll be like, you know, just listening to some of the stuff that we've talked about in the past. And I'm just like, oh yeah. Sometimes you think it's weird, but then you forget what you say. Uh-huh. And it's sometimes it's nice to just go back and be like, oh yeah, I was saying this, this, and this, or you were saying this, this, and this, or. Whatever. What about you on podcasters? So podcasters, uh, I like watching or listening to Tim Cast. Mm-hmm. Tim Cast has some great guests on there. Some really, some really good conversations. Love watching his stuff. Um, besides Tim Cast, there's um, Schultz, uh, Flagrant Two. So Andrew Schultz is, oh, uh, yeah, Flagrant yeah. Two. Yeah, I've I've watched them. Some good stuff on their channels. Definitely some good conversations. Um, besides that, who else do I watch as a podcast? It's kind of hard. It's like, because because podcasts could go for a while. So when you're going to invest that time, it's got to be good. You got to be like, hmm. Let us know in the comment section, anybody out there listening or watching, who do you guys watch besides us? Obviously, because you're here. Mm-hmm. Who do you guys listen to or watch? Yeah, I think those are the two main ones. Oh, uh, when you are researching equipment for your own channel, do you have a recommendation? Like if you're upgrading something for your studio. Oh, that's hard, right? Every time I do my search for stuff, I do look for Linus or Unbox Therapy. Um, sometimes they go a little bit detailed. Sometimes it's very like, oh, this got sent to me. So let me just do the best type of video I can possible. Right. Um, but, you know, I actually like to watch people who don't have that many views. Mm. When I search for stuff, I kind of look and watch like the first 10 seconds of a video that don't have that many views because most of those people they're grinding kind of hard and they're trying to get you quality content to say like, Hey, I actually tested this thing out. What do you think? So right. like, like the roadcaster, there's a bunch of people that have done the roadcaster. Yeah. And I don't think, I don't think I saw one video. I think I had to make a video about it on how to set something up on this thing. And I'm just like, well, I'm like, why there's no videos on this thing. But there's some people that really do get into videos, like into the details, but I, I I wouldn't say I have one person in particular. I just Google it or, or you know, YouTube, YouTube it or search whatever. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, there's one guy in particular that I follow uh, if I want to know anything about microphones. And this guy does an amazing job. His YouTube channel is called Podcast Podcast Age, P-O-D-C-A-S-T-A-G-E amazing stuff when it comes to microphone reviews, microphone comparisons. Um, he compares a lot of things to the Shure SM7B, which is the microphones that we usually use, but he does comparisons to that microphone from other microphones as well. So um, really good content and he's really in depth, like really, really in depth. And uh-huh. it's, uh, 
it's entertaining, I find. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I do like to I, I hate to do comparison videos, but it's kind of like when you want to buy something, you almost have to compare that to other stuff to see to. if it's good or not. Yeah. You have to have to for sure. Okay. Because, so here's yeah. Go ahead. Sorry, guy. Well, I was gonna say, like, you could read somebody say this is better than that. But then somebody's actually comparing the two could say this is better than that if you like this or if you like that. And that extra step is where it makes it relatable to you. Mm -hmm. um, okay, here's something very interesting. I don't know how you feel about this. Uh oh, uh -oh. might get you in trouble. You don't have to say any names. And I know people have had their ups and downs. I know people have been like, oh, I can't watch this anymore. I'm done. Who have been some YouTube channels that you're like, I just can't. I can't do it. And if you don't want to call people's names out, that's fine too. <sighs> Dude. <laughs> I know. There might be a list of people. like you're There's like, a few oh. of them still. But at the same time, like, I I would like to think that I've done very well with not not making it dramatic and kind of even if it gets me annoyed because sometimes you're sitting there and you're like the information is consistently wrong, then it's kind of you have to make a decision as a content creator. You either create content that is right. Or you just STFU like, <laughs> I, like there's, there's no point in starting drama. I really don't think there's any point in starting drama. And if you are that passionate about either the lack of quality or the lack of, you know, factual information, then do something about it, but do it in a professional way. But you know, and I, I and I know you're not going to say names out, but whatever, I'm going to say a name out. Um, and I know some people are probably already, already thinking like, Ooh, we know who this one is. So sometimes people do get information wrong <laughs> and sometimes you make a video and you think you're 100% right. Sometimes yeah. you might be a little bit too tech savvier than thou. Yeah. <laughs> you kind of know where I'm going with this one already. Oh, come on. I, but when you started the co the question, I already knew where it was going. So for those yeah, I know people are probably listening like who is this if if you don't know what I mean by I'm too tech savvy <laughs> then oh I don't know what to say um and I know everybody has put their foot on their mouths I know I have several times on the show <laughs> but uh, okay I'll say this sometimes sometimes you will say stf you or yeah but you know what I have to say about that, though? Yes, you're probably saying shut the whatever. But. But why don't you get back on YouTube? And show it how it's done. Well, when I said the SDFU, I was actually talking about myself, right? Like, because. Sometimes you can get very passionate and want to tell people off. So I would tell myself, I either do it or I shut up. And yeah, that that's I'm I'm right with you. Yeah. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's it's when you tell it doesn't matter if you're telling it um if you're saying it outwards to somebody or saying it inwards to yourself, you have the knowledge. And I know in the past you've done it before. You're just like, you know what? I need to make a video on this. And then you would do it like to your base of knowledge. Like, right. this is how it's done. But I would never do it in like a vindictive way or right. kind of saying this person did it like this, but I'm doing it like this or, you know, you just wherever you get your motivation from, your fuel to your fire, um, whatever energy it is just make sure that when it comes back out it's a positive way that's 
I think that's the well, main thing, right? I positively unsubscribe to Fresh and Fit. <laughs> Dude, did you really? Yeah. <laughs> Just because it's it's kind of like, well, it's 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 kind of like that. Like like I don't have beef with the guys. I don't have anything against them. I don't. They've never made a video against us. They've said like, there's all these other YouTubers that are talking crap and whatever. But we're too little to really be in their eyesight, yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Which they were given what, all kinds of copyright strikes, and it's like to uh, everybody. Yeah. So I I, I was kind of like you know. I think like for the entertainment purposes, I was just like, wow, like these guys are very ballsy, man. Like some of the stuff that they were saying, like to other guests on their show directly. Oh, Ice Coffee Hour was another podcast podcast I watched, but that's a Graham Stefan podcast. Mm. Yeah, man. I just I, I I was like, damn. I'm like, sometimes I was just like, I'm like, okay, some of the stuff I'm with you. But I probably wouldn't be saying some of like half the shit that they're saying. It's like, damn, right. dude, you guys are <laughs> like, dude. Right. And I think for me, what pushed me over the edge with that, with that channel in particular, that's the only one I'm going to use as an example. Um, I was like, like, dude, you guys are that petty. Like, it's already a freaking doggy dog world when it comes to YouTube that YouTube's trying to shut you down. Yeah. Now you got to go try to get a lawyer and you got to try to like, submit false copyright like claims to youtubers who've been grinding just because you don't like their opinion on somebody now as soon as as soon as they heard that i'm like uh i'm out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i can't do it i can't do it i i i i think i think that's just that's just grimy man and it's like it's it's it, it's like you know what you know, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even go there. I'm just gonna leave it alone. I, I I could say a whole bunch of stuff about it, but I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut because it's it's gonna be nothing good about those guys. It's just it's just bad. It's just it's just all bad. So for me, that's that's kind of like one of the things I'm just like, oh, I just I I can't follow these guys. Just too much. Uh, a couple of the channels that I watched before, uh, Epo 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 I used to watch him when I was looking into like. OBS and different cameras and like live streaming and stuff like that. I would watch some of his videos. Uh, another big one that I watch quite a bit that we haven't even talked about is Jay's two cents. And I Jay's know that two cents, you know what? Remember the, the video I showed you to watch and he did that promo. I fix it. <laughs> Explosions. <laughs> <laughs> I actually unsubscribed to him. Why? You find him a little whiny now? He's, <laughs> he's oh man very whiny um i i don't i don't i don't know i'm just i'm I, i'm not connected anymore i'm just not i i don't know i i see it now and i'm just like okay you're trying to you're trying to bring some of the comedy back you're trying to do a couple things again like to bring some stuff but like when I watch the videos and I get it, he grew that channel up to be pretty big, mm -hmm. but I watch the videos and I'm just like, okay, he's it's, there'll, there'll be some long videos. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is like, dude, like, why are these so long? You like, you could have like, this could have been 25% of like this, this 30 minutes should have been like eight, <laughs> eight minutes. <laughs> And it's kind of like, I don't know if it's because, and I don't think he did those videos like that back in the day either. But I see a lot of fluff, a lot of fillers. With me, every time I do my videos, I try to get to the point like pretty quick and I go through the review and everything and then I'll talk a little bit at the end. And when I'm editing all those little ums, I try to take out as many as I can without making it seem too like, blotchy and anytime i have like a like like just the quiet part i'll i'll snip that out but jay's two cents used to be one uh i also watch bitwit i don't know if you ever heard of bitwit so he's a good computer sh uh channel and then there's uh the other one yeah bitwit 
Yeah. And there's, Netwit. I think, hardware, hardware unboxed. I think that's the one I'm thinking of. No, that's not even it. Is it? Is this the channel? I used to watch this guy named Next Level, but I don't know what happened to his channel. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. One day. One day. One day. <laughs> one day I'm out of time, Grasshopper. You know, it's I'm I'm always moving around. And the, <laughs> the issue I had with my laptop was that it came with a five and a gig hard drive. And after you install Windows and all your applications and everything, you're not really left with any room to really do any video editing. So I actually uh, upgraded some of that. Um, Preppy got me a new monitor, so I am excited about, you know, getting back into that stuff there and start editing some videos. I have a couple ideas of what I want to do, but I don't want to rush into anything. I kind of just want to take some time at the beginning of this year and build up some content and then slowly release it. Because I have a really bad habit of diving, diving into a project going 100% and then burning out and then not doing anything for a few months. So it's the consistency that's kind of hard for me to keep. That's what I want to try to figure out how to just do. I get uh, it. I get it. I was going to recommend some. Oh, uh, there's another guy that I watch in regards to crypto and his channels MDX Crypto. And he does a lot of charting and stuff too, but sometimes he just gets on live streams while he's drunk and just talks about crypto. So. <laughs> like, what <laughs> he's kind of entertaining. <laughs> while he's drunk. <laughs> while he's drunk. Oh, there was another channel too. What was the name of them? I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. There's, uh, there's, <laughs> there is definitely some YouTube videos out there that people will just beat something to a bloody pulp. For example, there's one YouTuber I run into that loves talking about Shiba. Yeah. But every single thing is like a clickbait video. Right. And he posts twice a day. He's not getting like crazy amount of views. Like, oh, actually, you know what? I For the amount of subscribers that he's got, he's got 35,000 subscribers. And he gets about anywhere from 1,000 to 5,000 views a video. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. And there's been a few times that he actually, uh, let me see his most popular. Um, sort by most popular. There's a couple videos that he hit 80,000, 70,000, 50,000. But it's kind of like every single post is shiba 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 it's like literally shiba inu whales are making huge moves the next video shiba holders keep calm and hodl on the next video more ship tokens being burnt every day the next one ship holders it will happen this year like it literally it's just like dude and, and those four videos all happened within the last 24 hours <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah it's just like, damn, man. I don't know. And I, I know, I know. Once you find a niche, you should stay there. Um, I know when I was doing the the K app stuff, I was just doing Cody, 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 Cody forever. Mm -hmm. And but it was different aspects of it. Like, hey, check us out. Here's a build. Here's an add on. Here's how you could tweak settings. Here's how there. You know, like there's a lot of stuff to it. You know, I don't know how much I could talk about Shiba every single time. Right. <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh, but, there is a channel called Coin Bureau that I watch a lot, and he talks Coin about Bureau. like yeah, they they do a lot of really good in depth videos about coins themselves, different coins, tokens, um, news, that kind of stuff. He does some really good stuff, really, really yeah. good stuff. I definitely do remember that. Yeah. So. Um, 
hope you guys have found a lot of channels. There's a lot. And you know what? I'm pretty sure there's still more that we watch that we haven't Hundreds. really talked about. Like, as I'm talking, I'm thinking about like five others every time we mention a couple, right? Yeah. Um, if we did miss anybody, we're sorry. Yeah. We probably do watch you, but we're sorry. <laughs> like, like we said, we didn't have a list. We're just kind of going through a conversation. We're just winging it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's there's so many people out there. Some of the channels that we would recommend, um, you know, there's some of these guys are still around. You still got Lee TV. You still got Fire TV Sticks. You still got Free Tech. Um, they're pretty consistent doing some of their videos with when it comes to some of the streaming stuff. Um, and there's others. There's others out there that are still doing it. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want crypto, same thing. There's people out there. If you want gamers, same thing. They're out there. You know, podcasters, same thing. I'm not going to recommend channels. I'm going to leave this up to you guys. You guys are listening. I want you guys to put channels to recommend down below because the end of the day, it's up to you, the viewer, what you're going to watch. And I think the only thing that I can do is say, keep an open mind and you never know where that next piece of important information is going to come from. So it is kind of good to keep that open mind and watch as much content as you can, as long as it's, interesting and relevant to you Mm -hmm. absolutely yeah um so let us know shoot us a comment leave us a review let us know who are the people that you guys are watching who are you who are you currently watching still um as you guys know next level does have a channel make sure you guys do subscribe um he's got a lot of content on there so check it out with me i got a lot of content (laughs) i got a lot of channels I literally have a lot of channels. You want streaming? I got that. You want anything tech related? I got that. Uh, you want crypto? I just started that. You want travel? I just brought it back. <laughs> you want some more BS? We have a channel called BS Clips just mm-hmm. for that. <laughs> um, yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed everywhere. Follow us everywhere. Um, and, you know, we always appreciate you guys when you guys do come down. Uh, next up, anything you got to say before we get out of here? No, to say, guys, thank you guys for uh, continuously uh, supporting what we do here on Beyond the Streams. Uh, make sure that you leave us a review if you're listening to us on the audio side so that other viewers like yourself can find the content that you enjoy. If you're looking to be part of the conversation, be a part of the community, make sure that you come over to the YouTube side every Thursday around 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and be a part of the live streams, be a part of the community and the conversation. Uh, make sure that you have your notification bells turned on as many places as possible because you never know where we're going to drop the content first. You never know where the conversations are going to go or who we're going to have on the show. So make sure that you uh, come out and you uh, be a part of it. Just be part of the community. So uh, you guys take care and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Peace.